guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Thank you for asking. I was gonna change outfits, but you can't even see I'm wearing a tank top right now, so. I am wearing clothes, FYI. So, um, yeah, dream journal times two, two in a row, it's fun. If you're new to this channel, I don't do this every day. It's just because I fell behind. April, dream journal, here we go. April 5th, people on the airplane pooped in my shoes and put their toilet paper on my back as I was sleeping. Oh, oh, I remember this. The thing is, I dreamed this on the airplane because I was flying over to the UK on the 5th and the 6th. Like, I got there on the 6th, I was flying. But I had a dream and I thought it was real. I woke up petrified, but it was fine. It wasn't real. April 9th, I was hanging out with friends and I thought I had apple seeds stuck in, oh, oh God. Oh god, I forgot about this dream. This was one of... This is one of the worst dreams I have ever had. This beats all of my... This beats my puking fear, okay? Like, that says a lot. I woke up and... Oh god, I don't even want to read this. I was hanging out with friends and I thought I had apple seeds stuck to my arm. My friend pulled on one and it wouldn't come out, but it felt bigger inside of my arm. I pulled on it and this giant bug slid out of my arm in a slit and it was like a huge roly-poly with 20 fish egg like eyes and it was squirming with its hundred legs. I freak out and look in the slit in my arm and there were more so I went to the doctor and they cut my entire arm open revealing more of the giant bugs. They pulled out four and then went to the pull out the last one and it hurt. And the doctor was like, oh, this is the king bug. It's huge. I look into my arm and all the bugs had eaten all of my muscle and tendons and the king was latched onto my wrist bone and there was blood all over it. I looked over to my left arm and there were bug legs poking out of the holes in my arm too. I woke up immediately and was sleeping on my hands weird. So what happened was I had this dream and it was because I was sleeping like this. And so it made my, my hands fall asleep, my arms fall asleep. But that dream, like I can't even, it was... It was horrifying. Like imagine like a roly-poly or I don't know, a pill bug. It being this big, right? With a hundred legs and like 20 fish egg looking eyes on top of it. God, I hate that dream. I, I hate that dream so much. Like I woke up like crying. Uh, then I dreamed again. I had a second dream when I woke up. I found a really cheap mansion on its own island to live on in LA for $300 and I wanted Sarah and Edwin to live with me. I wanted the first room because it was all lit up, but in the back room, they had an office connected to it, so I picked that one. Then the guys came over and they didn't want to live with me, so I got lots of dogs instead. <laughs> That's my future, guys. That is my future. April 10th, I had to save the red shirt. April 11th, I was in a zombie apocalypse and found a huge safe place and took a puppy with me. When I got inside, I was greeted by some kids and they look, oh, and they took me to their leader, who ended up being Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, my mind would come up with that. Uh, April 19th, I had to fly back home ASAP, and it was the saddest and longest trip ride ever to the airport. April 24th, I was at a friend's house helping her and her mom with wedding plans. They were super rich, and her mom was freaking out about how she color-coordinated chair lights to people's birthdays, and it was such a rich first world problem. Then her sister, my friend's aunt, drives me to a bakery so I can pick up my car and go home. She was babbling about how she hates her sister and how she always gets the short stick in the family. I get to the bakery and she hugs me goodbye and goes, wait, your boobs are real? I say yes and she tries to grab them and I awkwardly pull away. She leaves and I eat cupcakes. <laughs> April 26th, I was viewing a lake from a cabin and the water slowly started to recede and everyone was super confused and then it came back up a bit and then I rushed around looking for the park ranger and the cabin manager and tons of people were freaking out and the ranger and manager looked at me and were like, run. And then all the water sunk down and disappeared and people were collecting fish in cups to save them. And suddenly the water rose higher and higher. Remember, this is a lake. And it rose past where it originally was and kept rising. Suddenly my dad pops out of the cabin and goes, grab your most valuable items and let's go. So I ran in I, in my room now slash old room from my first house that I lived in and grabbed my diary and a few pictures. My electronics like laptop and phone were at a friend's house, so it was okay, obviously. I walk outside and see the water was trickling over the edge by the cabin and I woke up. Oh, it has quotations around woke up, so I guess I didn't really wake up. 
I look at the travel lodge window and go, I just had the worst dream, and then took a deep breath and looked at the time, which said 10.45 a.m. I laid back down and think, no, I didn't wake up, and then I woke up in real life. Kate's getting clever. April 28th, I was friends with Anthony from Smosh, and then we went driving around in his new car, and I couldn't drive because my feet were broccolis. <laughs> I was probably sleeping on my feet, and they probably did the thing. So that was my April dream journal. It was a lot shorter because I didn't dream that much in the UK, but those are the dreams I get in the UK and they're still real weird. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'll just, I'll probably vlog or something. I need to get a new camera because my other one's lens is scratched. I don't know, it's weird. Excuse me, sir. Hush. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a fantastic day and all the fun stuff. Goodbye.